The pups howled as they charged at Celestia. She flew up above and fired some beams at the team, but they dodged them perfectly. After dodging the big laser, Chase turned towards the alicorn. Net! Ch Chase's bark pack, pup pack fired a net at Celestia as she dodged out, which was actually exactly what he wanted her to do. Celestia yelled in pain as Sky bit down on her side, causing her to bleed. She quickly threw the cockapoo off and she was about to fire at her, but was grabbed by the tail and she turned to see Tracker with two claws coming out of his pup pack. Tracker tried to yank Celestia down, but she used an electric spell that traveled through the, the rope, electrocuting the chihuahua. Tracker! Everest and Marshall yelled as Everest growled and launched right at Grappling Hook at Celestia, who dodged it. The alicorn descended upon grabbing the husky. What's the matter, pup? She said. Cat got your tongue. Celestia threw the husky at Sky, knocking her out in the air. Rubble tackled down the alicorn, while Cozy tried to pull her wings off, but Celestia blasted them off of her. Rubble, however, crashed into Rocky, making various objects fly out of his pup pack including the lost crucifixus, which hit, hit Celestia in the face. She screamed as the cross burned on her face and quickly shook it off. Cozy, Twilight, and the pup stared at her in shock just what just happened. Guys, did you see that? Zuma shouted. Chase quickly put the pieces together. Holy crap! She's a demon! He yelled. Celestia he had turned to the grove, grinning. Surprised? She asked, grinning. Not really, Chase responded. Only a demon would trap a child in Tartarus for their own amusement. Not just any demon. Celestia's horn grew in Aurora and changed from gold to blood red. Flames around her body and her wings sharpened along with her teeth. Her horn split into what seemed to be like two horns of a bull. Then what fire subsided with Celestia's fur pitch black and her mane was now, now made of flames. And then she turned towards Cozy and opened her eyes. Cozy gasped at the sight of the burning eyes, looking into her soul, and that's when she realized who Celestia really was. Remember me, Cozy? Celestia asked as her voice began to deepen. When I killed your parents, I talked just like this! Celestia fired the beam of fire towards Cozy, but Rocky pushed her out of the way just in time. His tail got burnt a little, but he didn't care. Chase tried using his tennis ball launcher, but that didn't work. Celestia began warping across the room, attacking the pups, and then she noticed that Marshall was missing. Where's that spotted mutt? Celestia roared. Zuma then tried to leave several bite wounds on the demon, but she nodded and then, when the head picked him the lab up. You know what? You reminded me of chocolate. I love chocolate. Let's see if you like the taste of it. Before she could take a bite, Cozy grabbed on her face and started punching her. Celestia grabbed the filly and threw her to the ground. You little tramp! Your life ends here. She was about to incinerate Cozy when she heard a voice. Hey, son, butt. She turns to see Marshall. She'll stare at her with her water cannon, ready to squirt. What? The demon asked in anger. You're a bad girl. Second, Marshall said that the last word, this cannon, water cannon, shot at Celestia, making her scream and water approached her. The water blasted the demon mare to the skin and started to dissolve. Smoke rose from the, her body, and she just screams and melts what sounded like a mare in agony and an injured bird. The group stared in shock as the demon's bones became visible, and the group figured out that Marshall had used water. Celestia continued to scream and melt, but, of course, she screamed, I'm melting! I'm melting! Oh, what a world! She welted until she remained was a black puddle. She was dead. Twilight and her friends were free, and they faint Cozy and Paw Patrol, but it was then that tidal wave approached Cozy. I knew everything would work out at the end when I freed you. Everyone turned to see tidal wave in surprise. Wait, that voice, Cozy started. Was it you? Yes. I know I deserved a chance, and I couldn't let you suffer any longer. I'm so sorry, who are you? Sky asked. I have never seen you in the TV show. That's because I didn't come to Equestria until three months after Twilight became the new ruler, tidal wave said. I'm tidal wave, Applejack's fiance. Whoa, really? Sky shouted. That's cool. Not as cool as you, pups, Rainbow Dash said. But after that, the group heard hoofsteps and turned to see. Celestia was bruised all over. Celestia? The group screamed. Celestia nodded and saw the black puddle. I've seen you've met Leon, she said. Leon? They all said. Yes, he is Gorgor's son. He likes to take the form of Everest to play his tricks on the victims, Celestia informed them. 
So the Celestia we killed was fake? Chase asked. Indeed, Celestia confirmed. He had imprisoned me in his chamber ever since the, since the Storm King died. What? Twilight yelled. So every time we saw you for the past couple of years, you were just Leon? Celestia nodded. He was also corrupted. Luna and made her change her hateful words towards Cozy. She she added. The group was relieved to know that those weren't really Luna's real feelings. Now Leon's gone and we're all safe. Celestia turned to Cozy and the pups. Cozy Glow, Paw Patrol, you forever have my gratitude. Thanks for everything. I will gladly unite you both to our worlds. The group cheered. So that means we can visit each other anytime we want? Chase asked, hugging Cozy. As a ruler of Questia, I heard, it is my decree that we live forever in harmony, Twilight said. The door opened to reveal a black yeah, alicorn filly, Nynx. Mm, did I miss anything? The group all laughed. Back in Adventure Bay, all the pups and Ryder were hosting a celebration of the citizens of the Equestria guests. The main six and the young six, CMC, and very, very much more were talking about adventures Cozy had. Soon Cozy joined the Paw Patrol and dance floor and did to do one more song. But meanwhile, in a caveman with blonde mustache was wearing a party in, on a big stream. So those meddling pups made friends with some ponies and dragons, eh? The figure said. Well, this could be my f chance to finally take that putrid town. Sir, I think there's a prince in the form that a new world is coming in a few months. He said that he holds the secrets of a uh, component's being a, a known as Solar Sis. Interesting. Well, we'll have to prepare for that then. I'll harness its power for myself. Or my name isn't Mayor Humdinger. Ha 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 ha. And that, my little pretties, was Cozy's Paw Patrol, a creepypasta written by Tidal Wave 2. Uh, Tidal Wave 2, um, I want to thank you so much for the story. Thank you so much for letting me read this story. This was really appreciated, and I want to thank you so much for sending me a link to this story. Okay, now, I am going to be doing this review as best as I can. So, first of all, I would like to say that he... Tidal Wave goes by Def Arena on YouTube. Now, Def Arena or Tidal Wave did send me, you know, a link to a few links of his stories on film fiction, which I did take a look at this story, and I actually found this story to be quite cool, so that was the reason why I decided to, well, take a look at this one. This was actually the first story that he um, sent me, so I decided to have a look at the story, and I'm actually surprised. This story was actually... Really amazing and really well made. It's a really well made crossover. So, I am going to be completely and utterly honest with this review. So, okay. If you guys don't like Paw Patrol, that's fine. That's your opinion. If you don't like Paw Patrol and My Little Pony, I respect your opinion. But, you know, to be completely honest, I actually found this story to be rather enjoyable. It is amazing, really well made, and I love the detail that is described of the story. Now, I'm going to say right now that I do appreciate, you know, this being a crossover. Like, I was thinking about maybe having a crossover of that or something like that. Because I tried to, well, see if I could find um, a good story. I was looking for one. And, you know, there's some fan fictions on film fiction that are good. And there was even a few of them that I did see were bad. I can't remember which ones were bad to me. But I guess maybe they were just the ones with bad grammar. But other than that... I am going to say right now that I actually found this story to be rather enjoyable and really amazing. So I definitely have to say, um, Tidal Wave or Deaf Arena, but I'm going to call it Tidal Wave. You did a pretty good job with this story. I do appreciate you sending me this story. I do um, appreciate you um, sending me this story. It was actually a pretty good story. So I do like that the fact that the concept of how the whole thing went out. It's really interesting to say the least because I remember seeing this story being a really good one. Now, I know he did send me another a few other stories. So, another story, I read Cozy's Paw Patrol. He sent me two other stories, one of them being Escape My Little Pony Escape from Hearth and Twilight versus Thomas and the Children. I am going to consider getting to those when I get to the time to do them in the future. So, Def Arena, thank you so much for um, sending me this story, Cozy's Paw Patrol. I actually liked it. It was really well made. And I do appreciate the good grammar, the good sentence structuring. 
And I can actually picture this being the case. Like, this is not, um, this is not, you know, completely out of the ordinary for, you know, My Little Pony or Paw Patrol to get into something like this. Like, Paw Patrol really have to say right now that, you know, that this is actually a pretty amazing story in matter than what I could count. So I could definitely say that this story was actually really well made. It was amazing. I definitely have to say, you know, this story was actually pretty good. So what I could definitely say with this story is that I actually found this story to be enjoyable in many ways. What I could definitely say what I liked about it was that I could picture, you know, My Little Pony doing something like this. Like, this is not completely out of the ordinary for My Little Pony. My Little Pony has done a lot of weird things in the past, and they still do to this very day. But I could definitely say this is actually one of those um, things that I could definitely say what I really do appreciate about this. So, to be completely honest, I am definitely have to say that this story was actually really amazing and really well made. Now, for whatever it was, this story was actually one of the best ones I've ever seen. I've seen some pretty other crossover stories, but I do find this one to be a really good one. And that's a very good possibility that I could definitely say, like... I do find this one to be rather good and amazing. So, for what it was, it was actually a really well-made good story. And that's a positive that I can definitely say of why I like this story. So, overall, I found this story to be rather amazing and well done. It's really good. And I do have to say, it was pretty amazing in regards to, you know, this story being really good. So, I'm going to be completely honest with this. Now, if there was one thing I had to say that I wasn't really too crazy on was, um, was the, oh, what was it? The fact that Celestia turned into a demon, like, not the real Celestia, it was just, like, a fake one. But I could definitely say, you know, with that being said, I could definitely see this being the case yet again. I'm just saying now this is not completely out of the ordinary for My Little Pony to do something like this, but... I definitely have to say My Little Pony has done, you know, weird things in the past. This is actually one of them that I can definitely say that was good. But, you know, I definitely have to say that now this story was actually really good and well made. So I definitely have to say <laughs> this story was good. Don't get me wrong. I actually found this story to be good. I actually found this story to have a good concept and I actually liked it. So anyways... I am going to say right now that um, this was a pretty good story. I really liked it, and I really definitely say that this story was absolutely amazing. You know, I did see maybe a few grammatical errors in the stories, just a few of them. Not really too many, but there was like maybe a few grammatical errors, just maybe maybe a few of them in, you know, certain chapters. But other than that, the story was actually really well made really well detailed, and I actually found this story to be rather cool. So, in that case, I definitely still can see My Little Pony doing something like this. And this is not completely out of the ordinary for My Little Pony to do this. So that's a definitely a something I'm definitely saying right now that My Little Pony has done something like this. But yet again, I definitely have to say it was really amazing and well done. So, all right. I guess I'm going to wrap up this review because there's not really much I can definitely say. But I definitely have to say this story was um, good. So I definitely have to say the grammatical errors can be fixed up just a little bit. But other than that, the story was actually really well done, really well made, and um, really amazing and neat. So that could definitely say I actually like this story. So... I guess I'm just going to wrap up the review because there's not really much I can definitely say. But I definitely have to say the story was great. I definitely have to say that. I really hope you make more stories. The story was excellent. There's definitely lots of time and effort. So I'm definitely going to have to say right now that this story was actually really well made and really well done. So with that being said, I'm going to say right now that if you're brand that if you like this vid, if you like Paw Patrol and My Little Pony, that's that's cool. If you don't like it, that's fine too. Because, like I'm going to say, we all have our own title to our own opinion. So, that's definitely a positive that I can definitely say right now. So, yeah. Anyways, with that being said, I'm definitely going to say now that this one was actually really cool and really amazing. And I definitely have to say 
this story was pretty cool. So I definitely have to say a really amazing, a really well done story. So I'm um, definitely have to say <laughs> this was actually really good. So I'm going to say right now, guys, that this is simply my own personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these curry pastas. And we, this is simply my own personal thoughts. And my final rating of the story would have to be a, um, I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. It's a great, cre great creepypasta, great concept. I can actually see, you know, this being the case with My Little Pony, even though My Little Pony really hasn't, um, this is not completely out of the ordinary for My Little Pony, but, you know, it's still a pretty good story and really amazing and really well made. So I could definitely say this is actually a pretty good pasta. And I definitely have to say, if you guys want to check it out, it's on Fim Fiction. Feel free to check it out, and you will like this story, guys. If you want to go ahead and read this story, then I'd say go ahead, because, you know, this story would actually be pretty cool, and I really would, you know, appreciate if you check it out. So, with that being said, what did you all think about this curry pasta or fan fiction, whatever you guys decide? Did you all enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what we have done personally to help make this story a lot better? Leave me now with your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're brand new here to this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload it. So as always, I will be seeing you all in the next video. So peace out. And I guess I will um, catch, you to all, catch you all next time. So yeah, so I'll see you all later. And as always... Roll the outro because I'm out.